It was great to be here and the message of my speech is that we operate on the basis of models, the way we think about and model the world. And sometimes those models end up being not as helpful as we wish. And so I pointed out three prominent models that are in existence in the business world now that I think we need to have what Thomas Kuhn called a scientific revolution in, a new and different model. So the first is the corporation as a machine. Uh, it's a simple machine where if you push the gas pedal, the car goes, goes faster, that kind of machine. I think that model is not helpful. Instead, the corporation and the business world in which it operates is a complex adaptive system uh, that has to be thought of more holistically. Can't be broken down in a redu reductionist way into pieces of a machine, but rather needs to be thought of uh, holistically. So that's, that's one. Uh, the second is the, the distinction between strategy and execution. I think that's our model, that there's a thing called strategy and a thing called execution. I don't think that's a helpful uh, model. Uh, there's a thing called making choices under uh, competition and uncertainty, and uh, we need to figure out how to have those choices made throughout uh, the organization, and that would be a better model. And the third model is that we think of jobs as flat, right? So that you have a job that you do all the time. VP marketing, that's your job, and it's, a, and it's the same, if you will, every week or every month. And I think in the modern uh, corporation, jobs are project-based and they go up and down. Uh, and we need to move from a view that most jobs are flat to most jobs are a variety of projects and they should be staffed more like a professional service firm with project teams on projects rather than staffed with permanent flat positions. So those are the three model changes that I talked about in my uh, speech today. Well, I, I think it's actually instrumental to the modern corporation, and I would say it, it all comes from the leadership having a clear view of what its job is. And I think the proper job of leadership is to make a few choices that only they are more capable of making than the rest of the organization, then tell the next level of, of management what choices they need to make, help them if they want uh, and, and need and help uh, in, uh, in making those choices. But rather than saying, I'm making the choices and then you're implementing them, is to say, I'm making these choices, now you need to make those choices. And hopefully, they'll listen well and say to the next level below, I'm making this level of choices, but you need to make these, and you need to make these, and you need to make these all the way to the, to the bottom of the organization. And the, and the company that I like best on this front is the Four Seasons Hotel chain, where they have a view that every contact with the customer matters, and so the bellhop has to make choices, the person at the check-in desk has to make choices, and they can't prescribe those choices. They can't say, if they do this, you do that. They can say, here's what we're trying to accomplish with this guest. And if the guest has some problem with what's going on, you're gonna have to make a choice as to how to serve them in a way that's consistent with what we wanna accomplish at Four Seasons. And that's why they get the highest ratings uh, by customers in the entire luxury hotel uh, 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 world. It's because they have people at lower levels actually making real choices rather than in some sense routinely trying to follow some, some set of instructions. <laughs>